He is known for his contributions to the field of neurology, particularly in the study of nervous illnesses. He is recognized for his pioneering work in using cinematography to document and study medical conditions. His name is Gheorghe Marinescu. In the world of neurology, one name stands out, Gheorghe Marinescu, a Romanian physician whose contributions revolutionized the field. After completing his qualifications, Marinescu was granted the opportunity to train under renowned neurologist Jean-Martin Charcot in Paris. There, he worked alongside esteemed figures such as Pierre-Marie, Joseph Babinski, and Fulgence Raymond, further expanding his knowledge and expertise. Upon his return to Bucharest in 1897, Marinescu established a new department at Pantelimon Hospital and created the Chair of Clinical Neurology at the University of Bucharest. He would hold this position for an impressive 41 years, earning him the title of the founder of the Romanian School of Neurology. In recognition of his significant contributions, Marinescu was elected as a member of the Romanian Academy in 1905, solidifying his place in the scientific community. But it was Marinescu's groundbreaking work in film that truly set him apart. Between 1898 and 1901, he became the first person in the world to create science films, capturing various neurological conditions in his clinic in Bucharest. These films, including The Walking Troubles of Organic Hemiplegia and Illnesses of the Muscles, were documented in the magazine La Semaine Medical, showcasing his pioneering use of cinematography in studying nervous illnesses. Even Auguste Lumiere, the inventor of the cinematograph, acknowledged the significance of Marinescu's work, expressing regret that more scientists had not followed his lead. Marinescu, a prominent figure in the field of neuroscience, had a remarkable career filled with groundbreaking discoveries. With a passion for pathological anatomy and experimental neuropathology, he published over 250 articles, many of which were in French, maintaining close academic ties with his colleagues in Paris. His dedication to staying at the forefront of medical advancements led him to utilize innovative methods in his research. He embraced the use of X-rays to study bone changes in acromegaly and employed film cameras to analyze body movements in both health and disease. These studies were documented in the influential monograph, Lotonus de Muscle Stries, co-authored with Nikolai Ionescu Sesesti, Oscar Sager, and Arthur Kraindler, with a preface by Sir Charles Scott Sherrington. Early in his career, Marinescu collaborated with Victor Babes, a bacteriologist, and Paul Oscar Bloch a French pathologist, to publish an essential atlas on the pathological histology of the nervous system. In 1893, his joint description with Bloch of a case involving Parkinsonian tremor caused by a tumor in the substantia nigra laid the foundation for Edward Brissard's theory linking Parkinsonism to damage in this area. Marinescu's contributions extended beyond Parkinsonism. He was the first to identify senile plaques alongside Bloch and confirmed Hideo Noguchi's discovery of treponema pallidum in the brain of patients with general paresis, together with Romanian neurologist Ion Menea in 1913. His significant work, La Cellule Nerve Use, published in 1909 with a preface by Santiago Ramon y Cajal, stands as a monumental achievement in the field. Beyond his scientific achievements, Marinescu was also a revered educator. His lectures were known for their emphasis on ideas and their ability to provide inspiration for further investigations. His contributions were widely recognized, earning him numerous honors from countries around the world. In 1925, he was selected to represent the students of Charcot during the centenary celebration of the renowned master. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.